Hello, Aries. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Crow Tarot. We are gonna be doing your second half of April general reading here. We will start off with an animal energy. How I like it, and we'll go right into the Tarot. So what is the animal energy for Aries for second half of April, please and thank you. Please and thank you, animal energy for Aries for second half of April. Wow, okay, we got two. I'm gonna take them because they are very closely related. I, I, I kind of love it. Okay. So we got the whale and the scorpion. Let's start with the scorpion. <laughs> Let's start with the scorpion. I say that they're related too because they both have to do with deep feeling and Scorpios are water signs. Um, and obviously the whale is a water animal. So let's talk about this. The scorpion in, in you know, energetic form, right, is most likely to sting others when they do not take enough time to be on their own, alone, digest and heal what needs to be healed and digested and transmuted, right? When the scorpion is out of balance, it tends towards isolation. It's, it's, it's you know, it's, it's not even wanting to meditate or connect in with anyone or anything. It just wants to stew, right? When it's in alignment, it, it first needs to recognize the need that, there's, that there is a need for emotional healing here of some sort, right? Because, and this is kind of like dramatic to say, but it's what I'm getting. Like a scorpion who is in alignment, again, we're speaking energetically. A Scorpio who's in alignment, even as they feel, you know, the deepest of pains, they would rather sting themselves than sting anybody else. When this is out of alignment, when we are running from things or not wanting to face things or not wanting to take the time to do that emotional healing, then we can end up stinging others. And that's always a bad time, right? And you know their sting is lethal. I feel like you are very much being called to do some emotional healing right now because that is also what the whale represents. Whale is, you know, an ancient energy, right? It's a slow energy. This whale ain't trying to rush to get nowhere, right? So much that barnacles grow on its nose, okay? This is also about sound therapy, sound therapy. Um, the healing and therapeutic benefits um, and effects of music, Okay, music, this could even be like um, meditation music or, or healing music of some sort, but this is healing through sound. For, so for those of you Aries that are watching this who you know, are resonating thus far about you know, a need for emotional healing and, and for some you know, to go still and be quiet and really um, go into those deep emotional depths, right? I think that he, uh, music could be um, a beautiful catalyst for that. Okay, but let's get to the trail. Good Lord, the scorpion and the whale. Ooh All right, let's see what's going on for y'all for second half of April. You know, Scorpios in this context too, or, or scorpions um, within this deck are linked with fire signs, and then we have water. You guys are um, a fire sign and you could be dealing with a water sign as well. That could be for a few of you. I just felt the need to, to say that. Okay, what's going on for my Aries for second half of April? Second half of April. But I do feel like the fire is pretty hot right now. <laughs> I need some relief from it. Look, we got three of pentacles. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm hearing to talk about the fact that we're in a three year we're in a three year right off the top here, which basically means that when it's really good, it is so good you are living in your own Disney musical, honey. Every thought is a song, right? Look at this music, right? But when things are not good, it's like the lowest depths of Tartarus, honey, from which there is no, you know, <laughs> immediate escape, right? So that could be going on in your energy here too, in a way where you're feeling those extremes. But you know, the Three of Pentacles is about really receiving recognition and kudos for your particular take on something, your approach to a job, project, situation. This is another way of saying you're really good at what you do, right? You know what you're good at. You know where your specialty lies, right? What else we got? What else we got? 
Okay, two of wands. Yeah, this could be, you know, in a way this can be feeling a little stuck because let's talk about the progression of the wands for a second. So you have the ace of wands, which is that initial, initial, <laughs> initial burst of energy and fervor and I got all this energy. And then you're like, wait a minute, two of wands is like, wait a minute, I really need to drop a map and a blueprint so that I know where I'm going, right? Then three of wands is, is knowing where you're going, but you're trying to determine the shortest distance between point A and B. Then you get to four of wands, which is like, I did it, yeah! Now I can take a rest and drink a lemonade, right? So I feel like you're at a point where you're like, okay, I need to create my map. And for some of you, because of this water energy we have here, this could be an emotional map moving forward, okay? Let's see what, I mean, we'll get clarifiers, of course, but we have the three to the two right now. Let's see what else is going on for y'all from the Aries. Temperance, hello and goodbye. <laughs> this is balance. Balance, 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 balance. You know what? That actually makes a lot of sense with the scorpion coming up here. Because remember when I said when this is out of alignment, what can happen with the stinger? <laughs> can tend towards isolation. It's, it's feeling overwhelmed, right? And that the therapy around that is to just be still and, and really work on the healing for yourself of an emotional nature. Yeah, so things might be a little imbalanced. You guys could literally, I'm getting that... Um, you know, there could be a lot of work going on. I feel like it's working with other people or you have a lot of clients that need you. And you could, we could literally be looking at, you are due for a vacay. But let's get some clarifiers here. <laughs> because temperance is equal parts work and play, right? Equal parts work and play. And this is in the future energy here. So I feel like you're going from a place of, you know, getting this work done, then you're getting like, oh, something needs to shift. I'm a bit running out of steam here. I'm feeling a little triggered. I'm hearing triggered. And then you get to this place where you're like, oh yeah, the key is balance, right? I was working a little too much and not playing enough, right? Different for everyone, but these are the common themes. So let's get a clarifier for this three of pentacles here. Oh, hello, six of cups, six of cups. Let's talk about this. I cannot tell you the number of times six of cups and four of wands has come out in these readings. Okay, anyhow. So again, emotions here, right? And this is also temperance, um, can very much denote like a twin flame. This is one of the twin flame cards. Doesn't matter if you are or not, you just gotta speak on it. But in the base case, Six of Cups speaks of, because in the traditional deck, this is a little boy giving a cup with a flower in it to a little girl, right? Which for me is loving like you've never known hurt before. It's that call to go back to your childhood self and reconnect with what you really love to do as a child. And because this is clarifying the Three of Pentacles, I do feel like it's, a been, it's been a bit of like all work and no play. Makes, Scorp makes Aries extra stingalicious. <laughs> I mean, maybe a little bit. Okay, no shade. That's just what I'm getting here, right? Yeah, cool down. I just heard cool down, okay? I do feel like you're, you're being, and this, and listen, for you specifically, I do feel like that's the overall theme of it is a little too much work and not enough play that you can reverse it if, if that resonates better for you. But also this can speak of someone that you have a past life connection with or someone from the past that could be still in your energy. But overall, because this is clarifying the three of pentacles, that's just the traditional take on this card. But in this particular context, I would say that you were asked to spend, t t being called to spend time in the vortex which is what did you do as a child, or even not as a child, but later on where you looked up and five hours flew by. That's that good, yummy, yummy vortex energy where you can step in and be a co-creator of your reality as in your, you're happening at life. I don't know if I'm gonna say this right, it doesn't matter. Instead of life happening to you, you're an active participant in the way that your life unfolds. Okay. Let's get a clarifier for this two of wands here. Clarifier, oh gosh. Okay, get over here, please. The lovers, the lovers, choices in love. 
So yeah, you could be in a place of stag, and I did say spend more time, you know, doing things that you love to do. But this is, you know, this is stagnation here, feeling stuck. It's like you're creating the map, and you have a choice here regarding love. This could be a job that you love and or a person that you love. Could be both as well. Different strokes, different folks type deal. But this is really being called to really prioritize matters of the heart over work or anything else at this point, which could mean that you have been spending a lot of time working, right, when this comes up in this way. There could also, for a few of you too, there could just really be someone on your mind here that maybe there's some healing needs to be worked around and you've just been so busy doing other things. It's kind of like what you don't deal with will deal with you, I'm hearing. So, so make some time for it. That could be with the scorpion energy is about two. Because Scorpios, woo, deep, deep, deep feelers, okay? And the whale lives in the deep, 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 deep sea. Okay, let's get a clarifier for this temperance. So you guys got, a, uh, you know, some nice majors here on the board with the temperance and the lever. Sagittarius energy and uh, Gemini energy here, by the way. Oh my God, another major. So justice to clarify the temperance. Anything that was not, oh my God, I looked at my timer, it was 11, 11, I cannot. Anything from, you know, coming into, this is a future energy. Anything that was unjust, unfair, unbalanced, a lack of reciprocity, a lack of equal give and take that's been in your energy in whatever context, it will be righted. It will be righted. It will be brought to balance. These are two different keys that represent balance. Okay? Absolutely. I do feel like you guys are in this place. Well, it's not just what I feel. The, the major arcanas denote destined events. They're not transient energies. Whenever you're watching a reading like this, or you, you get a reading in general, a tarot reading, and you see these energies like two of wands, any of these minor arcanas, if you don't like what you see, you can change it. But the majors fall in line with destined events. These are not so changeable. You can run away, but you can't change it, right? And why would you want to if it's a destined event, right? I gotta say for a group of you, there, there's really a romantic component here around someone that has been or is in your energy that there's some conflict around. It could be inner conflict. You may be waiting for someone. You may be waiting for someone, whether you're conscious of that or not. Sometimes it's not always like a conscious, you know, I will wait by the seaside <laughs> and wait for your boat to come in. Sometimes we can be doing that unconsciously, hanging on to someone and waiting, right? Choices and love. But I feel like whatever that is to you, the universe is going to step in here and bring balance to the situation. And I got to go back to this. If any of you are, are relating with that aspect of it or whatever have you, there could have been songs that you shared together or songs that make you think of them or even songs, you may even be like driving or riding around and hear a song on the radio that so beautifully speaks to your current situation. This two of wands place, this, this choices in love. You've got six of cups, the lovers, justice, temperance. You might be, you know, hear a song that's like, oh my God, that beautifully contextualizes and taps me into what I'm going through and taps me right into my feelings. I really keep hearing, please do not try to come at whatever the situation is for you from a mental sphere. Okay, I know you're a fire sign. I know you are, and you got all this passion, it's a beautiful thing, okay? But I'm hearing that your ticket through this, and in order to get to this other beautiful side of balance upon balance, is to come at it from an emotional sphere, because therein lies the emotional intelligence of it all. I keep hearing that, emotional intelligence. You know what, I'm getting to get a, um, an Archangel Oracle for you guys. Archangel Oracle. But yeah, some of you could definitely be, you know, making a choice about are you going to spend more time doing what you love or there's someone in your energy that you have love feelings for that's just kind of stuck in your craw. But I do feel like you guys have been working a lot just in the physical, you know what I mean? Okay. Let's get an oracle. Oracle for my Aries. Oh my God, I cannot with this. Passion, 
Archangel Haniel, trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. And I've been getting love life and career for this entire thing. I'm getting something very, very, I'm getting very like beauty and the beast vibes. Like I, they just drew my attention to this candle and like Lumiere. You know, and I keep hearing like the, you know, the only way, <laughs> the only way forward is through type deal. But you are being so, this temperance and justice is being so divinely guided. And all you have to do is nurture yourself while this manifests for you. Okay, and I do feel like there is this renewed passion and loving career because we can also have a career that we love, right? We have a person that we're passionate about, right? I feel like it's if and or but and. You know what I mean? Like it's all of the things. It's all of the things. But you, you know, one thing is for sure, you are definitely lined up for some destined events here that are going to take you to a very emotional place. And in order to keep these energies about and within you, I would really take some solo time for music therapy, sound therapy, or even just to go quiet. I also just, let's just talk about it, you know, just overall. Water is going to be particularly healing for you, and you could be dealing with a water sign. I think I already said that. And you got six of cups right there. But overall, the odds are in your favor. The odds are in your favor, okay? I just heard maybe this time from Cabaret. I heard that for one other reading too. I think it was Aquarius. But the odds are in your favor, okay? You just, you know, it's really time to do some serious self-care. Self-care, 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 okay? And if you wanna do work, make it inner work, okay? That's the ticket, and I really think music is going to be especially helpful around that or play a really interesting role in the evolution of this story. Okay, my lovely Aries, I so hope that this is of help to you and resonated with you. If it wasn't, it did, please let me know in the comments below. I would just love that. Um, also, if, you know, if you're resonating with this and you would like a more specific look into how to navigate through these energies, because I know this was just like a quick overview, um, I am available for personal readings. All of that information is in the About Me section. And with that being said, I want to thank you for being here and just thank you so much for watching this. Uh, but most of all, just thank you for being you. And be well. Until next time.